Now, conventional weapons have no effect on this thing. And we all know nukes ain't an option. Sure they are. I just, uh... No! No! no, 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 no wait! I'm not gonna kid you, Mr. President. These are dark times. The odds are against us. We need a Hail Mary pass. We need raw power. We need... Monsters. Monsters, of course. It's so simple. I... I'm not following you. Over the last 50 years, I have captured monsters on the rampage and locked them up in a secret prison facility. So secret that the mere mention of its name is a federal offense. Is he referring to Area 50? <gasps> Mr. President, say hello to Insectosaurus. <laughs> Miss Ronson, please. Nuclear radiation turned him from a small grub into a 350-foot-tall monster that attacked Tokyo. Here we have the missing link. <laughs> a 20,000-year-old frozen fish man who was thawed out by scientists. He escaped and went on a rampage in his old watering hole. This handsome fellow is Dr. Cockroach, Ph.D., the most brilliant man in the world. He invented a scientific machine that would give humans the cockroach's ability to survive. Unfortunately, there was a side effect. <laughs> now, we call this thing Bob. <laughs> Just someone get her out of here! Thank you. A genetically altered tomato was combined with a chemically altered ranch-flavored dessert topping at a snack food plant. The resulting goop gained consciousness and became an indestructible gelatinous mass. And our latest addition, Ginormica. <clears throat> General, continue. Her entire body radiates with pure energy giving her enormous strength and size. Sir, these monsters are our best and only chance to defeat that robot. Don't we already have an alien problem, General? I don't think we need a monster problem, too. You got a better idea, nerd. Ah! <laughs> okay, stay where you are. <clears throat> General, I propose we go forward with your monsters versus aliens idea thingy.